Again, we have B stock. DJ Nintendo played against B stock earlier, didn't he? Okay. So. All right, so here we go, guys. It's gonna be the run back. B stock here versus DJ Nintendo. Now the last time you've seen these guys play, DJ Nintendo just applied a lot of pressure to B stock, making it tough for him. So let's see if B stock took some time to think about what happened last match and apply it now. So, will you be able to make the scale for you for bigger? Yeah, like, will you be able to make that exploit bigger or no? Now, if, if, if it's a problem, it's fine. No, it's fine. No, it's fine, man, no. So. Alright, so here we go. DJ losing the first stock. B stock, look, B -stock looking pretty impressive right now. And gets... He gets almost like stage spiked by the up B. Three stocks each. DJ Nintendo with the unsafe cork draw on shield giving B stock an opportunity to punish. Yes. And again, you can see DJ sticking to platforms as his main way of approach and defense. Yeah, and right there, DJ Nintendo actually did a good job of attacking B stuck twice on his shield space, right? And for some reason decided to go all the way to the other side of the stage instead of continuing the pressure. Yeah. It was safe <clears throat> to <clears throat> oh. oh DJ Nintendo almost getting that. Okay, DJ tries to follow up the quick draw with a uh, back air. Nice, gets the grab and misses. There's the up airs. DJ trying to see if he can get an opportunity. Nice, rolling back away from the side B. Oh, catches him with a fair. Wow. Sending him straight into the blast zone. All I'm saying is who needs wave dashes when you have rolls that exactly. good to allow you to avoid approaches like Special. that? Oh, nice by b -Stuck. Sending him right to the ledge, but DJ just snatches it up and tosses it back. Doesn't want it. The down throw. Yes, Alright, good combos by DJ. Oh my goodness. Oh my Jeez. goodness. 79%. Did that make sense? Great air chases by DJ Nintendo. I love how you use the jab to just stun him just enough so he can get the grab. Nice cross up with the fair as well. Oh, right there when DJ went for the full jump and turned around, I thought he was going to forward tilt because he's been catching these stuff with that a lot. Yeah. But um, looks like he's trying to read him to see what he's going to do. Yeah, maybe he thinks he's going to change it up a little bit. Maybe he's trying to save it. Who knows? Oh my nice. goodness. Nice DJ backer rising again. backer, taking the ledge from DJ, three stock victory with 115 percent over B stock. Too good. Wow, that was just such sick stuff over there. Yeah, so clean by both players, but DJ just had the advantage that matchup. But let's see, let's see B stock. Um, Adapt because I have a strong confidence in his ability to do so. All right, well, we're gonna go to the strikes. Um, stage is currently gone. Our dreamland stage all the way to the far right corner, and we're back to Lilat. Yep, Sky World's gone, and uh, regardless of whatever happens, oh, yeah, Final Dreams is gone too. We're back yes. to Lilat. So, here we go a stage where DJ Nintendo cannot wall jump. Very smart decision by Misa, basically trying to make it easier to edge guard DJ Nintendo. Okay, uh, looks like Beast is maintaining momentum, pushes DJ onto the ledge, I mean onto the platform, but DJ gets down with a quick draw. Now the situation is reversed, and now it reversed again, and we're back in neutral. Patience being exhibited by, exhibited by DJ. Gets caught by the top and immediately gets out of there. Miss space neutral air. 
giving Beast Suck it almost an opportunity. Science Guard DJ. Good jab out of his quick draw. Six stuff. Oh, oh, and that's the second time that happened. That happened also on Battlefield Game 1. So uh, it's very unfortunate to see something like that. But really cool to see that Aether has that kind of property as well. So DJ is just playing a really evasive game right now. Not trying to get grabbed because he knows that Rob can lead into some pretty uh, funky kills moves. Oh, DJ gets armored right out of that aerial. Down smash, DJ Nintendo lives. Nice, trying to use that uh, neutral B to uh, allow him to just go through attacks. Nice. Was that a power, power shield? shield? Yes, it was from across the stage. DJ is just playing so evasive right now, trying to get as much damage as possible before losing the stock. Quick draw into Nair. Into another quick draw. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That was a good neutral air right there by B Sundo. DJ it was. was a little too airborne, so he had to he had to do something about it. It's not like you can block when your opponent's in the air. You know? Yeah. It's not like your opponent can block <laughs> when they're in the air. You know? Yep. So Wow, great follow-up. DJ, uh, DJ um, put out the hitbox just in case B-Stuck wanted to come down with a button, and he did. So, losing the stock kind of early. Nice, here the spacing by DJ just chaining neutral airs. With punishes that uh, neutral air with a dash dance grab, just punishing every jump. Oh my goodness, wow. he charged the up smash. Very smart up smash by DJ Nintendo, basically exhausting all of B-Stuck's recovery options. Nice air dodge behind him so he couldn't get grabbed. And here comes a movement from DJ Nintendo on the platforms. Gets a quick draw there. This is the other air chase, and I'll be stuck this underground. Wow, I thought I was going to see something more after that back air. Great snipe by B-Stock. And here we go, DJ. I'm just going to go in swinging. Smart by B stuck going a little bit high to try to get DJ to feel like he was going up there and then immediately would drop down to grab ledge. Oh no. Okay. Wow, these guys are just dancing on the edge now. Nice avoidance by DJ Nintendo. I like the full jump. Oh man, missing. And DJ Nintendo bears him right off. This might be the final stock here for me stuck in game two. Was that his dash attack? Dash attack for Robbie. Yeah, okay. Both of his hands go forward. Yep. And he launches in here. DJ hitting Rob out on one of his jumps. He's still playing really well right now. Alright, here comes the patience again from Beast Up. Realizing that he's at a deficit and that he's going to have to do his best to play as safe as possible. 49% currently on DJ and the chase is still going. Nice, DJ trying to see if he can catch Beast Up with that trick. Double four so. time. <laughs> Instead of Back and forward tilt, it's back and forward tilt, and in forward, forward tilt. tilt. The third one hit. The third attack hit in that entire setup. And we're back at Lila. So here we go, we're gonna go again. This is the fourth time we've seen this stage. And this time, DJ Nintendo not even avoiding the laser. <laughs> it's not moving. He literally just took it. I think the platforms favor Fire Emblem in this stage too, because their swords always cover the whole entirety of the platform. Great, Tomahawk into a forward tilt. Good pullback. Wow. Uh, wow, 17%. Came up to meet him. Definitely trying to figure out what to do against DJ Nintendo. He's, uh, 
he's been racking his brain for quite some time. It's almost as you you can say uh, he's uh, being stuck on that. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, good job uh, DJ Nintendo so far. Four stocks, 73%. Good up aerial. DJ realizing even if he traded, he would have just went back down the stage. And Rob would have, of course, went up into the blast zone. Oh, the creative movement. Okay, this is the movement I wanted to see from Beast Stuff. I like that. Yeah. I saw earlier. DJ Nintendo trying to go for that counter, and he gets it. Wow, that counter. 54%. Great movement being used by DJ Nintendo. I love how Beast Stuff used that laser to shut down Ike's quick draw. He's stuck really trying to play a, uh, a better um, zony game right now. But DJ's in. When he's okay. In, he's in, man, I tell you. Now we're back in a neutral grade combo. Down, the, down throw. That's how that combos, yeah. It's in there? Yeah, probably a lot of hits. Good stuff. He's still got it. Nice board told by DJ Nintendo. No sweet and spot by Robin. I think that was it. Yeah, and the Rob definitely had no more gas to come back. <laughs> DJ Nintendo with three stocks swinging. Looking like it's about his time, man, to face off against the King of the Muse, but one cannot give up hope. Not yet. He still has one stock. Good movie by DJ. Wow, DJ quick drawing over there. It seems to me that B stock is al actually allowing DJ to keep the stage. I feel like every time B stock feels challenged, he kind of retreats to the corner, allowing DJ to just take the stage just like that. Chat from this. Chat from this. Up. All right, this time DJ Nintendo going for a spot dodge after applying that pressure, but B stock still managing to get the throw to an air combo. Wow. And there goes DJ, but he has two stocks remaining. Let's of see if Beast Up this time decides to keep the pressure on instead of running away, as you mentioned. Oh, Beast Up's shield is getting low. That was a shield stab in there. Great usage of that. Yep. I was definitely expecting to see a broken shield. Twice. Good combinations by Beast of but DJ Nintendo still back on stage. Here comes a grab by Beast Up. Trying to go for a read this time instead of a guaranteed combo. Great job by Beast Up to just rack up damage in such a short amount of time. Gets clipped by the quick draw, just a little unaware. Gets jab once, jab two, then three. Sends a with the up air. Tries to meet up there again. Quick draw. And that shield got yeah. so low. I wonder if he angled his F tilt, would have poked. Wow. wow. DJ Nintendo catches him as he's recovering. I want you to 55 off the top with that quick draw. Good job to DJ Nintendo. Making